I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm going to be showing you my sunglasses collection. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for all types of creatives where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, entrepreneurship, and more. Classes are a combination of video lessons and actual projects you get to do, and there are a variety of classes to choose from, all designed to fit your skill level and schedule. As a Skillshare member, you get unlimited access to thousands of classes, hands-on projects, and most importantly, feedback from the community. One class that I've been checking out recently is iPhone Filmmaking, taught by Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray from Moment. We here at HSS are always trying to improve our run and gun capabilities, and I found a ton of great information and tips in this class. Skillshare is tailored to learning, so no ads, and they're always adding new premium classes. So if you'd actually like to see a He Spoke style class on Skillshare in the future, let me know down in the comments as well as what topics specifically you might be interested in. Price is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And as a special offer to our viewers here at He Spoke Style, the first 1,000 people to click the link down below in the description will get a free two-month premium membership trial so you can explore your own creativity. All right, first pair we have here are the Ray-Ban Clubmasters. Super classic, unmistakable. One interesting thing to mention is that a lot of glasses look like this, and we call them Clubmasters, but the Ray-Ban Clubmaster was not actually the original. That distinction of the first brow line frame goes to the Shuron Ronser, which was developed in 1947. Bruce Willis wore a pair in moonlighting in the 80s with a tinted lens, and Ray-Ban saw an opportunity, so they basically copied the frame and then marketed it as the Clubmaster. These were one of the first pairs of sunglasses I ever got. If you go back to posts on the site from like the first couple of years, you'll see me wearing these sunglasses in, I don't wanna say every single post, but a lot of posts. I always like them because they have that classic look, very timeless, there's kind of a hipness to them, and they're really versatile. They look great casually, they look great with a suit. Next, I have another pair of brow line frame sunglasses. These are the Oliver Peoples Banks. Very similar to the Clubmaster in style, but there are some differences that really set them apart for me and make them the pair that I'll reach for pretty much all the time if I was deciding between the Ray-Bans and this pair. First, there are some really subtle details that I know you can't see from a distance, but that's honestly what makes them most attractive to me. I always love details that don't necessarily stand out, but that you have to really look for to appreciate. So on these, it's the engraving. So there is some really intricate engraving on the hinge of the temple arm, on the bridge, on the front side and the underside of the rim, and then you've got the little Oliver Peoples logo on the temple tip. So just really elegant and classy. And then the other reason I like uh, these is that they're different than the Clubmasters. You know, maybe you don't notice that right away, but when you do, I think that makes them more interesting. They're not as common as the Ray-Ban Clubmaster, and I like that sort of uniqueness to them as well. Another pair of Ray-Bans here, the classic Aviator. I actually have two pairs, uh, this one right here with a gold frame and green lenses, which is a classic combo. And then the other ones are also a gold frame, but they have a really cool brown gradient lens. I don't get to wear those that often though because my wife likes them too, and she's pretty much commandeered them over the last few years. So these are actually a style of sunglasses that I thought I'd never be able to wear, this Ray-Ban Aviator specifically. I never thought the shape was right for my face. I was always kind of self-conscious when I wore these. And I know there are a lot of guides out there for choosing the right sunglasses for your face, but I think what's most important is that you get the right size for your face. Because if you have the right size, I think you can pretty much wear any shape you want. But what it really comes down to is your confidence wearing that particular style. And I think once you kind of get used to seeing yourself in different shapes, it's easier to feel more comfortable and confident with a wider variety of different styles. So for me, the Ray-Ban Aviator was kind of that gateway to being open to trying different things. Including the next pair, another classic aviator style, and that is the classic Persol Model 649. These, whenever I'd go into a sunglass hut or something and try them on, I would think there's no way 
I could ever wear them. They're way too big. I have, I have a smaller, more narrow face, but I couldn't wear the ones they had in the store because they always had the larger sizes. So I got these actually on Amazon where they sell the smaller sizes. And this is actually a 5220. They are a slightly bolder, more statement making style of sunglasses. I have them with what's kind of a gray gradient lens. And these are a pair that I wear very often when I'm driving. Another classic from Persol here, and this is the model 714. Made famous, I would say, by Steve McQueen in the 1968 movie, The Thomas Crown Affair. I think he has two different pairs in that movie, uh, one with a darker brown lens, and then the more famous one, which is the one with the blue lens. The distinctive characteristic of this model is that it folds, uh, temple arm folds up, and the bridge folds, so they take up less space when you are storing them. A buddy of mine had the blue lenses years ago, which I loved, but I could not find them in the smaller size at the time. The ones I could find were these, and I got them with a darker brown lens. So if you're curious, the sizing here is 5221. These sunglasses I wear quite often, probably more so in the summertime because the lenses are quite dark. Great for like a beach vacation or hanging out at the pool. These are actually the sunglasses I always take with me to the pool. Classic style, very recognizable and super cool. Next are some military style pilot sunglasses. These are actually vintage American opticals. I think they're from the 1950s. I got them online from a company called Retrospects. American Optical or AO Eyewear still makes this frame today. Randolph Engineering has one that is pretty much the exact same style. Ray-Ban also makes a version, the 3588, but it has a different style of temple arm. I don't have a lot of vintage things, but these particular glasses I enjoy very much. I like knowing that they came from a very specific era. Uh, it feels different when I wear this pair as opposed to the uh, Randolph Engineering version, which I, I did have myself before. The temple arm, they call this style the bayonet is very unique and recognizable. It's a very military style. Maybe not for everyone. I think I remember that uh, Don Draper wore a pair of these in an episode of Mad Men. They've got a really classic style. I like the military heritage. This is a pair that I wear very often. Next pair here is by Garrett Late. The model is the Hampton. I've always liked and been interested in this brand. And when I saw these and tried them on, I thought they fit perfectly. So the size is a 4821. Lenses are a little rounder. It's a different shape than I'd had, so I thought they'd be a nice complement to the rest of my collection and just kind of a different option. They are very simple, uh, more or less a very classic look, very versatile and easily dressed up or dressed down. Next pair here are by TBD Eyewear, Bespoke Dudes Eyewear, a company that my friend Fabio Atanasio is a part of. The model of these is the Pleat. And these are actually eyeglasses, and the sunglasses part are these clip-on lenses. The glasses themselves are not actually prescription, so I guess you can say I wear them more for the style factor. It is a look for sure, and I think it's kind of cool. It's a classic style and a great way to switch things up. Getting into the funky side of the collection here with this pair, these are the Oliver Peoples uh, M4, and these are actually a limited edition, though Oliver Peoples does have a 30th anniversary M4 available now on their website in a variety of different colors. Not a pair of sunglasses I ever thought I would wear uh, with the round lenses like this. I first saw these, uh, I think I saw Nick Wooster wearing them in some street style photo, and I just thought they were really cool. So these aren't an everyday pair of sunglasses for me, but uh, every so often I put together an outfit that these complete perfectly. All right, here are the first of two pairs that I consider my quote unquote Hollywood sunglasses. These are by Moscott, the classic Lemtosh frame with a red gradient lens. They call the color Cabernet. I have black frame sunglasses with black lenses, which you'll see in just a bit, but I love these colored lenses. They're unique, they're distinctive, they're unexpected. They have a kind of a badass quality to them. I wear these a lot with casual looks, so like if I'm doing black jeans, black t-shirt, leather jacket, anything with that casual, edgy kind of style to it, these are a perfect fit. Also, like if I'm dressing down a suit with a t-shirt or maybe just a plain white button up, these sunglasses really match that overall vibe. Uh, that's why I love having these. It kind of adds some depth to my bench in a way. Next, similar but not, uh, these are actually vintage frames, vintage USS frames, so they were government issue. Got these also at Retrospects and had them put in a blue tint lens. I style these in pretty much the same way that I style the mascots, so casual looks or dress down suit looks. 
They have like a kind of uh, Harvey Keitel vibe to me. I actually think I'd like to have another pair of these with like a light gray gradient lens so I could wear them during the day, but then they'd be translucent enough that I could wear them at night as well. Uh, and they would just seem like glasses, but with a little bit of tint. I don't know, I always thought that's kind of cool and would look good at the right kind of event. Now we're getting into my darker sunglasses and this first pair here is by John Varvatos. The front of the frame is black. The temple arms are sort of a tortoise color, so kind of an interesting contrast there. I had a long time ago a pair of black Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but for me that style is a little too ubiquitous. So when I was looking for another pair of black dark sunglasses, I wanted something that stood out a little bit. These have a really cool shape, which I like a lot, very sleek. They fit my face very well. They're really easy to wear and also kind of distinctive. Kind of a similar pair here. Uh, these are by Chopard. The frames actually are a dark tortoise and the temple arms are black and actually kind of rubberized, which is a neat detail. Between the two, between this pair and the John Bravados, which we just looked at, really not too much of a difference in terms of style. And uh, the one I choose just really depends on my mood any given day. Finally, probably the most unexpected pair in the whole collection. These are by Oliver Goldsmith and the model is Lord. These frames were famously worn by Michael Caine in a photo taken by David Bailey. These are the largest frames that I have. In many ways, they kind of remind me of the sunglasses version of the big, bold, personal optical frames that I have. It took me a little while to get used to them, and I get it, they're large, but frames like this are supposed to make a statement. So if I'm wearing these, it's kind of a reflection of my state of mind. Like, don't bother me. I don't care that my sunglasses are too big. They're supposed to be, live with it. Just kidding, <laughs> mostly. But, but yeah, I have to be in the right mood to wear these. Thanks once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Reminder that the first 1,000 people to click the link down below in the description will get a free two-month premium membership trial. Also, be sure to let me know in the comments if you would like to see a He Spoke Style Skillshare class and what specifically you'd be interested in learning about. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell. Until next time, everyone, thanks for watching and stay tailored.